know my quest to unite the world's religions may have failed, but I'm still waiting on someone to tell me why religion even exists at all. Someone's got to sell it to this atheist. And when it comes to selling God, no one does it like the Christians. They got missionaries hassling people about Jesus around the globe. So I sat down with one and he started his sales pitch by telling me what his life would look like if there was no God. I would be a pirate. If there's no, if God doesn't exist, I'm a pirate. A pirate? Why not? You, you do like you do, you just one night stands, you murder people, you You're do whatever you want. You're in a boat with a whole lot of men. How many one night stands are there? So that's what you would do? See, I don't believe in God and I don't believe in rape as well. I don't believe you should murder people. I don't believe you should Why? people over. Why not? Because it's wrong. Why would I take well, another? Wrong by who? If you're just evolved sludge, it doesn't matter. I still have morals. Whose I'm morals are right? Me no, there, there are right morals and wrong morals. Maybe, maybe not. Don't be a dick to people. Why not be one? Because it's being a dick. <laughs> so what? Right, so you're saying that Christianity is stopping people from doing bad things. That's right. So if religion keeps people in line, shouldn't all criminals be atheists? Well, according to the United Nations, countries with the highest murder rates in the world are also some of the most religious. And the least murdery places like Sweden, Japan and Norway have loads of non-believers. If you're in the business of running a church, these are not good stats. They need new asses in seats. When they can't reach adults, they aim younger. This is Jesus. hey -o. Why does Christianity market itself to kids? Whether you're talking about religion or whether you're talking about Happy Meals, you want to get kids when they're young. So they'll use it forever and ever and ever and ever. I pledge allegiance. My son at four has to pledge to a flag under one God, has to use those words. He doesn't even know about God yet. I haven't mentioned it to him. Why would I? Why should he have to do that? That seems to be, to me, something that is a rule, something you have to be made to do. There was a man, he was called Noah. Noah put two of each animal onto a great big boat. Who believes this happened? Wrong. <laughs> Children shouldn't learn about God straight away because you can't join the army at a young age because your brain's not well developed. You can't smoke cigarettes or drink alcohol or something until we reach a certain age because you're not ready except for your eternal life, which we tell children about from age two, and this is your decision. It's a seed, like everything. Is, is there a hell? Yes. Now, what happens to children who aren't privileged to be born into America? It's a simple example, Australia, where Christianity is, is substantially less. It's just a very remarkable thing that children who grew up in a Christian society are lucky enough to be born with the right God to go to the right heaven, but if you're born into a Muslim society, then you're going to hell because you don't believe in the right God and they believe it, vice versa. Why are those people disadvantaged? Well, we send missionaries all over the world and there are Christians in every culture of the world. Yes. Muslims ones keep it low down because they don't want to be killed for changing their religion. But when the truth of the gospel gets a hold of them and it actually realizes the reality of it, and the truth of it, and they believe it, they're converted. What I'm about to say here, I'm not trying to poke fun. Um, sure. The shooting in Las Vegas, sure. wh where was God? In heaven, on his, on here. Why does he let that happen? Why does he let children get cancer? Well, it's one of the biggest questions there is. You have a good God and you have a fallen world that does bad things. Mm. You think that guy was a a church-going Christian that blasted I, all these I, people? I do not think that. I know there was many church-going Christians who were shot and killed. It was a country music right. show. Right, and they, the next second they open their eyes in heaven, they're facing God. And their children are parentless down here crying and their lives are ruined. You know, I don't have all the answers for all those, little, those, those things that are very difficult and we struggle with, but the fact is this is not the best of all possible worlds. This is the path to that. Nah! Still not buying it. There is no answer is not an answer. Look, religious friends, I'll remind you again. There's been an awful lot of invading, killing, bombing, burning, raping and shaming done in the name of God. So, if you really want to convince me, try cutting that shit out. I'd even consider going to heaven and hanging out with a bunch of boring Christians on one condition. Are we in our best state? Am I like Jim Jeffries? 2002, when I was like full head of hair, I was like 25, I was rocking it out, right? Am I Jim Jeffries now? 
Uh, a bit fat. <laughs> Better teeth, sure. You're going to be your best, your absolute best. Whatever God had intended for you, that's what it will be. So what I'm hearing from you is another inch and a half. <laughs>